Well, good afternoon, TK. Hope you had a good lunch. Okay, it is time for another fine motor skill lesson. Today, we are going to be working with Play-Doh. So you'll need to find your Play-Doh container and you're going to get your name mat, okay? One that looks like this. The back has numbers like that or blank um, you don't need the numbers but we're using the back side today so um, go ahead and get that and then come back all right are we ready to get to work tk good okay go ahead and pull the lid open okay and dump your play-doh out look it it's a cylinder. This is the shape of a cylinder. First, we're going to work on our hand strength, okay? That means we're going to squeeze. Can you squeeze it as much as you can? Good. Now go ahead and put it over to the other palm, inside the other palm, and squeeze. Okay, keep doing it. All right. Squeeze, take your fingers and push them in and then squeeze. Yeah, how about three more? One, one, three on each side. Two, two, three, three. Nice job, go ahead and put it down and let's massage those muscles okay okay now we're going to do the opposite of squeezing we're going to pull we're going to use all our fingers here and we're just going to pull it apart okay and pull it apart some more and some more there. keep pulling it apart there you go Use all your fingers. See how small you can make them. Yeah. Can you make 10 little or even more? Let me see. I'm going to count how many of them I have made here. All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I think I can make twenty. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Did you, were you able to pull them apart? Yeah, and make twenty little ones? Good. All right, now we're gonna push it all together and squeeze it. You can squeeze both hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to learn to roll, okay? So first, you know what? We're just going to pull it into two so that we're not gonna work with a, such a big ball. So there we go. I have one half right here and the other half is down here. So I'm gonna take this, I'm going to put it in my hand. I'm going to put my other hand on top and I'm going to make a circular motion while pushing down just a little bit. I'm gonna go around, around, and faster, and faster, and faster, and faster, and faster, there you go and guess what i've made i made a ball yeah okay now i want you to try it with the other one okay put it in the middle of your palm this right here is called our palm so put that half in there straighten your fingers straighten this hand Put it on top and you're just pushing down just a little bit don't push it down too hard because if you push it down too hard it's going to make it difficult to move your hand in a circle so now it's 
your left hand's turn, okay? You're gonna go around in a circle, around in a circle, around in a circle. There we go, faster, 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 faster. Did you make a ball? Yeah, we have two balls now. Well, guess what we get to do with them? We get to flatten them. So I want you to take your palm and squish. And if you want to, you can even stand up and give it some more power. Push it down as hard as you can. Use your whole arm. There. It is flattened now. Now use your other hand. Okay? And push. 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 Yep. You can move it around. There we go. Wow. Flattened like a pancake. Is yours like mine? Two flat flapjacks? Mmm. Um, yum, 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 yum. Um, I love pancakes. Okay. Now we're going to take our flattened Play Doh here and we're going to do what's called a fold. Okay, so we're going to fold it in. We're going to take, see, one side, the top side, and fold it down. Now it looks like a taco. Ooh, um, Taco Tuesday. Well, actually, it's Friday that Miss Who's making this right now, so not really, but you can always have Taco Tuesday. Then we're going to take the side and we're going to fold it in. Okay, this is called a fold, kind of like folding your clothes. There you go. Ooh. Now what does that look like? Hmm. To me it looks like a waffle cone. Yeah. Or your ice cream. Okay. Or a part of your quesadilla. Like it got cut up. Right? Do you think we can fold it one more time? You think so? Okay. Let's fold it. Fold it over. Fold it over. Good. Okay. Now take that, both your hands, and squeeze it at the same time. Ready? Squeeze. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it, and then I'm using my fingers and my thumbs to rotate it. Now, now it's lengthwise. I mean, it's, um, it's straight up and down. See? It's vertical. Now I'm going to squeeze again and squeeze again. Now look at, it's horizontal, right? I want you to use your fingers and turn it so that now they're facing vertical. Straight up and down, not side to side anymore. Ready? Squish it together. Only using your fingers and squish again. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. There we go. Ready? Use those fingers. This time, can you turn it into a ball? Pushing it in. Use your thumb. Take the edges and push it in. Okay? You're kneading with your thumb. This is called kneading. You're taking your thumb and pushing it in. Like that. How about we do it with one hand at a time? Here we go, are you ready? Squeeze, open, turn, turn, turn. Squeeze, open, turn, turn, turn. Squeeze, open, turn, turn, turn. Now, take your thumb, push the middle down, and then go around from the outside. Take pieces from the outside and put it, push it in towards the middle. Yeah, we're working that thumb. You might start to feel the muscles right here, okay? Um, straining a little, especially if you don't really play with Play-Doh much or do a lot of things with your fingers. So this is gonna help you develop strong, fine motors. Fine motor, there you go. Okay, go ahead and how about 10 more, ready? From the outside, push in one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, good job, right hand. Go ahead and give it a massage. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it to the back. Shake it forward. Ooh, all right. Okay, left hand, your turn. All right, are you ready? You are? Good, here we go. Okay, squeeze, open, turn, turn, turn. Squeeze, open, use your fingers only. Squeeze, open, turn, turn, turn. Squeeze, open, turn, turn, turn. Are you ready for some kneading? With just our thumb, push the middle. Boom, now go to the edge push it in. Go to the edge, push it in. There you go. All the way around. Okay. One hand may seem like it's harder to control than the other hand. This is Miss Boo's left hand and this is not my dominant hand. So that means I use my right hand to do a lot of things more than I use my left hand. So with my left hand, I have to concentrate a little bit more to get the job done. I have to really say, okay, go to the outside, push it in. Go to the top, push it in. To the top, push it into the middle. Side, push it into the middle. Okay, ready? Let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Good job, left hand. Okay, go ahead and give it a squeeze and put your, thing, your hands together and go ahead and give it a squeeze. All right, ooh, shake it up. Okay, are you ready? Let's put them together. Let's make a big ball. Go ahead and just kind of squeeze it a little bit okay we're gonna make a big ball this time one big ball ready stick it right on your palm the other one on the top and squeeze go around 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 faster 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 <gasps> did you make a ball good okay now I want you to squish it Flatten it. There you go. Other hand. Flatten it. Nice job. Now we're going to work on some finger isolation, okay? So we've been working a lot with the thumb. Okay, I want you to poke your flattened Play Doh with your index fingers. Go ahead, poke it. Keep poking. Good, all right, and fold it, fold it again, fold it again, fold it one more time. Now we're gonna roll, but I'm gonna show you a different way to roll. You don't have to use both hands now, you can actually use your mat. So watch, I'm gonna put this on my mat. I'm gonna take my hand and strong hands, okay? and I'm going to put it on top. So then I'm gonna just go in a circle, real fast, in a circle, see? And then I'm gonna look, ooh, it's getting there. I'll turn it a little bit, there we go. And turn it a little bit, there we go. And as you keep doing this, okay, you can try your other hand, there we go. My left hand is not as fast as my right hand, but that's okay because my left hand is not my dominant hand. My right hand is my dominant hand. It's my hand that does most of my things. Like my dominant hand holds my scissors, holds my pencil, it holds my paintbrush. I've got a ball again. Guess what we're gonna do? You got it. Ready? Flatten. Like Good. Push. Okay, this time I want you to use your middle finger. Okay, your tall man. Go ahead. Poke, poke, 
poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, poke, freeze. Good. And same thing. Fold, 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 and give it a little squeeze. Okay, there we go. Now you get to decide, do you want to roll it with two hands like this? Or do you want to roll it using the mat in one hand? So whichever one you want, go ahead and roll and roll and roll until you have a ball. And there you go. Great job. And now push it down. Push it down and flatten it. Good. Now today, or this time, we're going to work with our ring finger. Okay, we're gonna isolate just the ring finger. Are you ready? Poke, 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 poke. The ring finger doesn't get to do this often, so it might feel weird, right? We're so used to using our index and maybe our middle, but our ring finger doesn't get as much workout as the other ones. So we're gonna give him a little bit more time. How about 10 more pokes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. You know the drill. Fold, 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 fold. Give it a little bit of a hug here. See, it's like hugging it with your the palms of your hand and then roll. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, Miss Boo. Whoa. Okay. It looks pretty good to me. How's your ball coming along? Good? Okay. Are you ready to flatten it for the last time? Because we have our pinkies left to work on. Okay, so are you ready? Squish. Squish and flatten it. There we go, and pinky time. Go ahead, use your pinky and poke, 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 poke. Yeah, my pinky's not as strong as my other ones. I can feel it. I really have to push down harder to poke all the way through. Okay, poke, 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 poke. Let's give pinky some more time to play here. Okay, 10 more times, Pinky. Are you ready? Let's count down with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. All right, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Okay, and that is our warm up for today. Okay, that's our that's really our lesson for today. Tomorrow we're going to do another lesson with Play Doh. All right, but before I let you go, we have to put it back. And when we put it back, first I want you to roll it. Okay, roll it into a ball. Okay, and then I want you to put it down. Okay, and tomorrow we'll learn more about how to make a snake. But if you put the ball down, you put your hands on top of it. This time, instead of going in a circle, I just want you to go up and down, up and down, up and down. You will get something that looks like a cylinder. And now it will fit in your container nicely. Okay? And that's how we clean up. Miss Boo is done here, but if you want to continue working with your Play-Doh, you may, okay? You can take it back out and you can play with it. But the most important thing is, when you are done playing, make sure you make a ball, right? Roll it again into a ball. 
Make your bar. And then roll it forward and backwards, forward and backwards, forward and backward, forward and backwards until you get a cylinder. Tap the bottom, turn it around, tap the top, stick it in. Make sure the lid is nice and tight or else our Play-Doh will dry out and we won't be able to work with it again. Okay, have fun playing with your Play-Doh.